Yo, so Woody didn't waste no time, gang. So Lil Woody and responded to the passing of Rich Homie Quan, and he goes with well, R.I.P. I hate, I hate that this happened. I pray that God protect the uh, and them from this cunt country. Like I don't know what that shit means, bro. He say I hate that this happened. I pray that God protect Thug and them from this country. Like well, that's a subliminal or something, bro. But it's crazy though. Know? You know, at the end of the day, YSL Woody, you know, um, Thirty Deep Woody, they say, you know, he basically coming in and saying R.I.P. Rich Homie Quan. And also put sending prayers up to Young Thug. Now, a lot of people gonna have some controversy behind this. This dude, he does know how to work the internet for some reason. And, you know, I don't know if he got somebody behind him who telling him what to do, what plays to put on the table. But um, although he could be serious and this is something that he really feels. But at the end of the day, it's just coming in wrong. You feel me? Because this is the star witness on the YSL Rico case as well as this is the same person that said that they shot up Rich Homie Quan's uh, dad's barbershop. So, you know, I'm just coming in bringing y'all the news as usual. Just a little short clip. Let's get in the algorithm. Um, y'all share this on Facebook and Twitter. Y'all hit the like button. You know, do what it do. Gang. Oh, what's the word, gang? Man, what a crazy surprise. So, scrolling the internet, and I see all these RIP posts go up. In regards to uh, Rich Homie Quan. Now, Rich Homie Quan, you know... I think he just dropped the album maybe last year or something like that. You know, um, from what I hear, he was loading up to drop again. And plus, this whole thing going on with Lil Woody, um, the Young Thug, Guy Sell Trial, his name been mentioned a few times. But yeah, man, unfortunately, I got to report that Rich Homie Quan died today. You know, he died today, they saying from possible OD. Now, that's crazy, man. That's That's wild business. I even heard about uh, this podcast show probably like, like a month ago or something. e band Films, and, you know, he sound like high-spirited. He sound like, you know, he ain't got himself together. Shit, he was on the road to shit riches again. Back on that rich shit. You know, he said he was going to drop again. He was talking about the label faults. You know, some of his faults just moving around in the industry, you know. And he sounded like a clear mind. I'm not going to lie to you. Sound like... He had his head on his shoulder. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, man, prayers up to his family. He definitely an ATL legend. You know, even the people that's posting right now is just not blogs. It's actually regular people putting up his picture and saying RIP. Especially a bunch of people I know from Atlanta. You know, um, definitely a pillar of the community. You know, so you about to probably see a lot of rappers respond to this. You know, get a piece right now. People probably calling around like, yo, what am I seeing on these blogs? Because this shit been going on for the past 20 minutes. And like, I'm talking about you scroll Instagram right now. All the blogs posted like it seemed like the same time or within the 15 minutes or something. But um, y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Rest up, Rich Homie Quan.